So we've had a thing the last uh, few days where every time we record a news video, the following morning we have to record an addendum because something has changed. Uh, and that's led to us being confused. Yep. <laughs> uh, so yes, okay, the Blizzard thing is there. Thanks, Dakor, for knowing our channel better than us. <laughs> but I suppose he is producer, so um, so yeah. that's his thing. Keep us right. Uh, uh, yeah, chat. That's all. Everything you're saying is completely, completely accurate. We are very tired. The gamer group brains are back. <sighs> yeah, I had um, I had work uh, extend to uh, let's see on Wednesday till one thirty a.m. Uh, yesterday till uh, one a.m. <laughs> And that was like 1.30 a.m. with a follow-up, like, you know, then with an early morning. So it's been, mm. it's been, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what happens when you're kind of doing um, <laughs> uh, four channels in a game at once. <laughs> yep. Someone please spike all the water with caffeine so that uh, I just sort of burn out in one big glorious, uh, you know, thing. Oh, that's why I'm having a red bullet. Um, what is this, quarter to nine at, no, just about ten to nine at night, because, I mean, who needs to go to bed? Uh, us, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Fucking definitely. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, let's get a bit of excitement going. It's Derplander. Hello, Derplander. Ah, he's definitely Chad Lander now, like. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Oh, yeah, speaking of true, there he is. So, uh, yeah, look, the media tour happened. If you want our, like, overall video, it is on the new Bellular Gaming channel, because you right now are on Bellular Warcraft, because we changed the names. But, this is really funny, we cannot change the URL <laughs> for Bellular Warcraft, so Bellular Gaming takes you to Bellular Warcraft, and when we go to the YouTube backend, and we, like, go to the place where you change it, it's grayed out, and it just has a note saying, we'll give you a way to change your channel's URL later. So they're clearly in the middle of developing features. So I guess what we need to do is we need to set the URL of Bedford Gaming to Bedford Warcraft so we can truly confuse everyone. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's uh, that's the awkward thing. But yeah, we, we have talked about it, um, uh, you know, there. I think that the whole do these developers even play their own th game thing is really funny because it's, it's very obviously being read in one way. Yeah. Um, so you know what? Let's let's read. Let's read. I've heard my friends talk about this, and uh, I feel it's sometimes too with some MMOs. They wonder: Do these developers even play their own game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but with us. A lot of the developers in FF14 are warriors of light ourselves. We go to the raids, we collect our um, Alagrin. Alligan. Alligan. <laughs> the, I've, I've, I've literally pronounced that correct loads of yep. stuff. Alligan. Dyslexia, woohoo. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've actually forgotten what you said, Matt. We're Alligan. Alligan. We're Alligan. so tired right now. <laughs> we collect our Alligan tombstones uh, to exchange them for uh, for our weapons, and we are working hard. We are players ourselves. I think it's just best to show that. Let people know that we love our game. I myself am a very competitive person, and I'm a black mage, so I want to be the world's best black mage. How does he find the time? Yeah, that's it. You know, um, I mean, hopefully you're not using logs to find. <laughs> hopefully you're oh, not. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, that's just it. I think it's a shared love of the game and just playing together. I don't play with just my static. Sometimes I queue up for random groups and no matter what strategy they try to pull, no matter what position they do, I want to give them my best. I want to learn the strategies. I go home and continuously play FF14. It's a lot of fun being part of this team. It's to the point where I don't really feel like it's work. And it's just interesting there, the whole, you know, looking around other MMOs, do they even play their own game? And uh, given how World of Warcraft is an extremely frictitious experience in ways that FF14 are mm. not, I think a lot of people are drawing a very obvious comparison. Now, it, oh yeah, I know, uh, Yoshi P. Parses Orange, he is actually a fucking incredible player. Yep. Um, the whole thing there is like, should also note, He's not been the biggest fan of the whole, oh, herder, wow, is going down, FF's going to destroy everything, yeah. because he believes that people, uh, and correctly believes people should have healthy gaming habits where they're enjoying multiple games and not becoming mono gamers. Yeah. Uh, totally bang on there. Um, I mean, it's funny, you're talking to Asmund Gold, you say, do these developers play their own game? And it's like, Haha. and people will say, oh, well, you know, Final Fantasy XIV totally learned from World of Warcraft. 
So yeah, we're from World of Warcraft Cataclysm. World of Warcraft is a totally different game now. So. Yeah, World of Warcraft didn't learn from World of Warcraft. That's the problem we face. Yes, yes. Uh, but for a little bit of extra flavor, I think uh, looking at Yoshi P's history, he's definitely going to be less just, haha, this is him, just casting Meteor yep. on Blizzard. That is not it's going to be how him he going, operates. Yeah, especially because he was talking about Ultima Online in terms of communication in that same interview. Yeah. So I think he's like just called, calling back memories from all of the MMOs he's played. Because, I mean... I, <laughs> This is going to sound a bit weird. I think one of the ways to look at him that might work is almost like a Japanese version of Jeff Kaplan mm. in a way where it's still like, man, these people don't know what they're doing. Obviously, he wasn't going on forums yeah, he wasn't, calling he wasn't, people uh, all sorts of names. Yeah, absolute or, fisting of an encounter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't saying stuff like that. He just went, you know, same thing where I know how to make MMOs. I'll go make one. Not quite accurate, but ended up making a great one because he knows the attitude but i think he's just calling back on loads of history of just man these people have no idea what they're doing that's just across the board which is obviously you know why he's like no no we, we love our game we will play it and we will understand it that is how we operate just yeah so an, int an interesting point indeed yep